right. Welcome to a 30 minute session on the Cadillac, a predictable one. And let's get started. So uncross, bring the palms together, look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Then relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Let's release that, move around just a little bit, and turn toward the end of Cadillac with your arcus bar in place. You're holding mid humps and breathe long through your spine, Pilates V there. Drop your chin, scoop and tuck, and let's roll each vertebra down in a long, steady sequence all the way to the floor. Breathe here as you exhale, press down towards your lap. Arms float up a little and do that a few more times. You're feeling between the shoulders, the triceps, scoop your belly, and we'll do one more. Float the arms up, the head comes up, scoop tight, and let the springs pull you up one vertebra at a time, and go out over the legs and get a stretch here. You want to inflex your feet. You're breathing into that for a moment, and then let's take it back down, stay curved. Roll it down, scoop and tuck, that's what it feels like. Each vertebra drops in sequence to your head. This time, pull in like you're rowing, and extend the arms, exhale, pull, and out. Let's go for a couple more. And last time, arms out, head comes up, scoop tight, and let's slowly let the springs pull you back up, 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 and go out over the legs one more time. Give it a nice stretch here. Let's take it back down one more time. Scoop and tuck, roll back, each vertebra in sequence. And when your head is down, roll the shoulders around with the arms straight, getting that lovely stretch on the tops of the shoulders between them, maybe the side of the neck. Go the other way a few times, breathing. Arms go out, head comes up, scoop tight, and let's take this all the way up to the top. Lean out over the legs. This time, release your bar and move the knees into uh, an outward position, making a diamond with the legs. Grasp the vertical tubes and give yourself a little pull here. Just intensifying the stretch in the spine. You can hold the front of the caddy pad if you want to and breathe, opening through the hips a little. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's stack it up to a flat back. Drape the legs over the side like you're on a pony. And walk down. Let's open the inner thighs and the hips in a slightly different way. And breathe here. One more nice deep inhale and exhale. Then walk it back up to seated and hold the feet back on the bar, but this time uh, on the pad, this time they're touching the vertical tubes. Grasp mid humps again, breathe in long through your spine, and as you exhale, drop back about halfway. Breathe here as you exhale, let's pinch the right waist, lift to the right a little, through the middle and to the left. Through the middle, you can certainly offset the arms here, stretching the side of the spine, and then the other. Keeping the belly scooped, work your obliques to lift, and through the middle, and up again. Let's do one more each way. And good. Come back to the middle after this one. Hold, take it all the way down, Breathe here. As you exhale, float the head up. And then scoop tight, let's take you all the way up to the top. Elongating the spine. Hold in the middle of the bar with your left hand. Breathe and drop back onto the right side, giving it a deep stretch here on your right side. Breathing into it. Let's take this back up. We'll go into a banana in a moment. Up you go. And do this on the left, opening up that left side. Breathing here, strong stretch, just reach behind you. Let's take it back up using your left obliques and work just a little bit. Let's drop back halfway, hold 
and then up with a little pulse and back down. So using, trying to isolate just your obliques here and scoop tight up, one more, take it down, change hands, stretch your left arm out behind you and let's do it on this side. Tiny little pulses up and up is only your obliques working, scoop tight. Go for a couple of more. Good, then take it all the way up to seated. Now let's do a banana. Drop down onto your right side. Right arm over your head, curve the torso, cross the ankles, and breathe into this very elongated right side. Let's separate the feet, correct the torso, and pull yourself up. Let's do the other side. Drop back on the left. Curve into your banana. Cross the left ankle on the top and breathe into this, opening up the left side. Let's uncross the ankle, center the torso, and pull yourself back up. Up and up. Great. Uh, take your artist bar off and trade it out for your trapeze bar. Okay. Let's turn, head toward the tower, <clears throat> grasp the bar, and put it behind your knees, and then give yourself a little shove away from the end of the caddy pad. Your knees are over your hips to start, and let's work with the pelvic floor just a little bit. So find neutral spine and your core, and let's go slowly. You're going to take the feet to the mat. What you're thinking is long through your torso, especially around the pelvis, neutral, pelvic floor activated, and then just as slowly let's let the legs float back up with control. And do it again, press down and down, and down you go, feeling that nice work low in the abs, pelvic floor. At the bottom, let's add just a few little tiny pulses down, down, so the feet come off the caddy pad just a couple of centimeters. And the more engaged you become, the more you feel it in your low abs, of course. A couple of more. Float the knees back up. And let's do that again, adding a bridge next time. So down go the feet, nice and slow. On the mat. Breathe here as you exhale, scoop and tuck your pelvis and lift into a bridge. You can press down into your arms a little and feel connected in your, your back chain. You've got triceps, rear deltoids, hamstrings, glutes. Breathe as you exhale, slowly articulate down, using all these muscles to support your articulation. Feel inner and outer thighs helping, and then roll through to neutral. Float the knees back up again. Let's do that one more time. Breathe as you exhale, slow, steady, and easy. The feet come to the floor. You'll hold there, breathe as you exhale, scoop and tuck. Roll it up to a bridge. Press down into your arms, neck long and relaxed here. So we're firing the whole back chain. Inhale here as you exhale, let's slowly start to close the ribs. Scoop, tuck, use your abs, your glutes, your inner and outer thighs all the way through to neutral, and the knees come up. Good, release your bar, and rock yourself up to seated. Let's trade this bar out for your push through bar. Run from above with one yellow short string. If your safety strap is on, you can take it off.
the head goes uh, toward the tower end again. And let's work a little with your upper abs. So your head is uh, more or less even with the, uh, the back of the caddy pad, but when you extend your arms, your shoulders and wrists are lined up. You're in Pilates V and in your core. Breathe in and float your head up. As you exhale, let's slowly start to articulate up about halfway. Breathe in here. And as you exhale, drop almost all the way down. You're still looking at your feet. And then up you go again, feeling your scoop, your ribs closed, your upper abs, and then take it about to your shoulders again. And exhale up. Nice and slow, isolating abs and back down. We'll do one more, holding at the top this time and add a few little pulses, they're tiny movements. Consider softening your quads and hip flexors. Three, two, and one, and then slowly roll it all the way down. Pull the bar over your head and give it a nice stretch here, breathing into that. On the next one, we'll add a teaser so the legs will come up as well. Pull the bar up over your face and look at your feet and torso and legs lift into that nice teaser position. Let's bend both elbows and both knees and straighten. Breathe and exhale, straighten. Go for a couple of more. Out, last time, hold and breathe. And then just as slowly, we're going to take this down, down, Head and feet hit at the same time, and then give it a nice stretch over your head, breathing into that. Then let's release the bar and come up to seated again, facing sideways, and clasp the middle of your bar. For the side bend, breathe in and float your arm up as you inhale. As you exhale, let's let the head, upper back, mid back, articulate to the side and keep your sits bone, both of them, planted equally. You can do some elbow arches here if you like and breathe into it. A couple of more. And breathe in as you exhale. Let's take this up using oblique muscles and keep your belly scoot, arm down, let's counter curve and breathe into this, just curving the spine the other way. Come back to seated, arm drops. We'll do one more like that. Arm up, head, upper back, down you go all the way, breathing into this. A few little elbow arches if you wish extending the uh, stretch down towards your lumbar when you do that. And then hold over your ear for a moment, breathe, and then let's take it back up. Concentrating on using your abs, and then give it a counter curve. Let's drop back to center, put the hand at the back of the bar this time, and we'll add that lovely twist. Arm goes up, you'll turn, drop your chin, and down you go. Focusing on articulating even though your spine is spiraling and breathing at the bottom. You can do a few little soft bend and el uh, straighten your elbows here if you want to add on to that stretch. Invite it in. Breathing. A couple more. And then hold. Breathe in again as you exhale, scoop tight. Let's start to articulate back up. Derotate and then rotate toward the back, opening your chest, looking over your shoulder, and your chin is not dropped. Your right arm goes up, breathing. You'll turn, hand to the bar, and take it down again. Articulating, spiraling, breathing. Adding a couple little bends and straighten of the elbow if you wish. And let's hold to your breathe as you exhale, scoop tight. Let's start to take it up again. Derotating and then rotating away and looking over your shoulder. 
come back to center and move just a little away from the bar and let's add a mermaid to that. So legs are unitized, arm goes up, you'll turn and swing the legs up onto the pads and breathe. A lot of tone around the shoulders, the abs, the legs. Inhale. As you exhale, fold at the hip, scoop tight, bring it back to center, and rotate away. Let's do that one more time. Arm goes up, you'll turn, and down you go. Stretch and breathe. Feeling every muscle working together to hold this um, sort of a banana shape. And then fold at the hip, sit, open the arm, and rotate away. Let's do the same sequence on the other side. So you'll turn. Hand starts in the middle of the bar. You might scoot a little closer to the tower than where you were for the, uh, the mermaid. Your arm goes up and as you exhale, head, upper back, mid back, curve over. The arm stays over your ear. You can add some elbow arches here if you wish over your ear, breathing into it. And then let's hold over the ear, inhale. As you exhale, use your abs, scoop tight to articulate up. That arm down, other arm up and count your curve, breathing into this. Let's drop the hip and the arm, left arm goes up, head, upper back, mid back, curve over, breathe into it, getting a long stretch from your hip all the way to the fingertips, adding elbow arches if you wish, your bottom arm is supportive, and then hold over the ear, inhale as you exhale, let's take it up again. And counter curve, breathing. Drop back to center, move your hand to the back of the bar. Your arm goes up as you inhale. As you exhale, turn, hand to the other end or near the other one you decide, and articulate down and down. Keeping the far sits bone planted as good as you can. At your low point, you can add some little bends and straightens of the elbows to invite that stretch in. Breathing. Let's hold the arms out. Breathe as you exhale. Up you go. Your arm goes up. You'll rotate away into a counter rotation. Chin is up. And let's do that again. Arm goes up. You'll turn, hand to the bar, drop your chin, and let's take it down. Breathing into this, sits bone planted. Little elbow bends and straightens if you wish. Let's hold the arm straight, breathe as you exhale up, you go. Turn, and there's your rotation. Come back to center, move the hips slightly away from the tower. Put your hand at the back of the bar. Let's do the mermaid on this side. Your arm goes up, breathe. Remember your legs are one big leg. They swing up, you're lifted from the mat, so are your shoulders. The only thing down really is your hip joint. And then fold at the hip, swing back to seated. Your arm goes up and you rotate away. Let's do that again, arm goes up. You'll turn, one big leg swings up, a lot of tone around the shoulders, your abs balanced on that femoral joint, breathing. And then legs go forward, sit, and open the arm out. Let's come back to center and turn over onto your tummy for some extension work. No, your arms are extended out with your head on or near the pad. Shoulders are rolled down and back and you'll breathe in. As you exhale, press down into the bar. I must lift into a swan and you're breathing. 
You feel a lot of work behind the shoulders, the triceps, you're in extension. Inhale here as you exhale, let's take this back down again. Each part of the chest, and finally, your head on or near the pad. Breathe in as you exhale, a strong armpit to hip will take you up again. And let's add some little pulses here, tiny ones. Up, up, and breathe. You're kind of looking out in front of you. Couple of more, feeling your back to extensors. And finally, let's take it back down again, all the way to your head. Pull the bar with both hands over your head and start uh, your prep for the high swan. As usual, you'll do two arms, I'll do one. Here I go with one arm. You go when you're ready. And up you go when you're breathing. Good, I'll leave it up to you when you want to come down. Good, regroup. And I'm going to do the other side and you do one more of those when you're ready. The breathing, holding a very intense in um, extension, a lot of stretching going on around the shoulders, the armpits, your breathing. I'm coming down. I'll leave it up to you when you want to come out of that. Great. Now, uh, carefully walk yourself back uh, into a child's pose, releasing the bar. And come up to a high kneel, walk in towards your push through bar, and let's do some cat cows. Breathe in and as you exhale, drop your chin. Exaggeratedly round the spine as you push the bar forward and down and then reorient into a cow or a down-faced dog sort of position. You're breathing into this. Let's slowly return. So scoop your belly and squeeze your glutes. <clears throat> And let's slowly come back up. You can hang somewhere halfway if you'd like. And just really uh, breathe into your spine. Scooping your belly tight. Then up you go. And into that little half swan at the top. <clears throat> let's do one more like that. Breathe in. As you exhale, drop your chin, round the spine. Scooping tight. And then you find yourself reorienting into the cow down face dog position, breathing into that. Then let's scoop tight, squeeze your glutes, and start to come back up again. You can hang if you wish, breathing into that. And then let's. Continue, and into that little half swan position. Breathe into this. Good, come back to center. And let's spring from below your push through bar with two leg springs. You can use the two lighter yellow ones, or if you really want to stretch a lot, you can use the uh, purple ones. You'll also need your safety strap for this one. What did you say? You also need your safety strap for this one. So 
them two springs, leg springs, long ones from the bottom. And I just leave the top yellow one on for no reason. With the safety strap, you'll come in with your head uh, near the tower, right at the end, probably, with your feet under the bar. Well, we're already getting a stretch here. You can do some nice pedaling back and forth with the knees. Just breathing into that. Let's make sure that uh, your head is as far back as it can go without falling off the end of the caddy pad. I like to do just a couple of little squat sort of things. So put your feet kind of wide on the bar turned out and try to put your sacrum bone down and do nothing but squeeze your glutes and straighten your legs. Not a big movement. Down you go. I just want to fire some leg muscles today and glute muscles. And you're a little bend and a big squeeze up. Breathing down and exhale, squeeze it up. Let's go for a couple more like this, up. Last time like this, up. Now keep your right foot up and drop your left leg onto the mat. You can even let it hang off the side if you want to a little bit to open up the hip flexor. I'm gonna do the same thing, just a one leg squat. And down you go, stretching at the bottom, of course, and then working to straighten the leg. And breathing down, and exhale up. We'll do one more. Try not to involve the knee. That's really quad muscles and hamstrings working. And then let's change legs. Put your left foot under the bar, kind of wide there, toward the end, turned out. Your right leg drops, and then maybe the foot hangs over the side. And you'll bend and squeeze it up and breathe down, getting a nice stretch in the down position and then working on the way up. Inhaling down and exhaling up. Let's do a couple of more. And up. Last time. Up and hold. Then put the other foot back under the bar. Let's do some bona fide stretching here so both heels can uh, flex and point if you wish. Just really working the ankle joints, giving the calves a stretch and then the front of the foot a stretch and breathing. Backs of the legs are stretching too. You can certainly pedal back and forth, breathing and exhaling. And then let's hold both feet a little wide. Bend both knees, grasp the tube, or the bar rather, and then lift the head and straighten up into a monkey stretch. From here, you can point and flex too if that makes you feel good. Up and flex. Just a couple of more. And then drop down for a moment. Of course, you're getting a stretch now, opening the hips, inner thighs stretching out, inhaling and exhaling. Let's do one more monkey stretch. You can keep the feet wide, hold in the middle, up you go. Now, drop your right leg down to the mat. Scoop your belly really tight, keep the uh, leg turned out from the hip and lift and touch the bar if you can and drop the leg down and lift. My left leg is rather locked and I'm stretching it. Got a flexed foot up there and use your abs to float that leg up. We'll do one more. And up, put the foot under the bar and let's do the other side. So keep the uh, left leg turned out and drop it to the mat. And use your abs to float the leg up, touch the bar if you can and drop it and lift it. Your right leg's getting a nice stretch while it's up there. Exhaling, we'll do one more. And good, put the foot under the bar. Give it one last point and flex up here. 
and then bend the knees and take it down and down you go. Now, um, put your feet on the mat. Let the bar come down and very carefully unspring one of your leg springs from the bottom. Very careful. I'd like to finish with some ab work here. Okay? So only one spring from the bottom. Then put your feet up under again in Pilates V. Well, let's let the knees go wide as they bend. Then straighten the legs up, point the feet, and start to lift, pressing into your arms, and up you go. Let's do a little bend and straighten at the top, exhaling, holding there, inhale, and as you exhale, soften the knees a little, and let's take this down one vertebra at a time very slowly, using your abs to control, your arms are helping too, and all the way through to your sacrum bone, and let the knees bend again at the bottom. Well, let's do that again. Legs go up, point the toes, scoop tight, press into your arms to help if you wish, and up you go to your shoulder stand. A little bend and straighten at the top, scoop tight, neck long and relaxed, pressing into your arms, couple more, and then soften the legs a little, and take this about halfway down to maybe the top of your lumbar and down you go. I want you to hold here when you've reached it and press into little pulses here. Use your abs. Your legs never change positions. They're frozen in this diamond and you're scooping tight and go for three, two, one, and then all the way down you go. Good, bend your knees, take your feet out. Let both feet just drape over the sides like a big pony and stretch the arms out over your head and breathe. Good, while you're there, Carefully unspring your other bottom spring, okay? And just let it come to the floor. That way your bottom will lift up. You can roll yourself up to seated. And we'll put this into your muscle and cerebral memory. A nice little 30 minute stretch class that adds some pretty good bit of abs and leg work, bit of arms too. Uncross, bring your palms together, look straight ahead, eyes open. Look down your cheeks, eyes open. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Release it, move around just a little bit, and there's your class today. Thank you, Grace. That was a great one to have. Yeah, I think so too.